Hello, my beautiful peepees. Today I am trying the new Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator Tinted Skin Veil in porcelain. The undertone looks like it's going to be off for me. It looks a little yellowy orange, well, peachy. Uh, I purchased this on January 6th and I got it just last week. I paid $5.99 for it on Amazon and I'm seeing it online right now for $4.98 on Walmart, $4.99 in Target, and all that fun stuff. Um, let me go ahead and give you the description of this lovely product and see what they say. Because I can't read that. That's like, no. Okay, so here it says, oil-free tinted hydrator with hyaluronic acid and vegan squalene is in one way to get to, to quenched perfection. Our new bare focus tinted hydrator features buildable sheer to medium coverage with a semi-matte finish. Oh, I'm not a matte person. For How can it be matte and hydrating? For a naturally flawless and nourished glow, transforms a multi-step routine into a one-step regimen. So you'll be ready in a splash with this lightweight, multi-purpose, and super convenient formula. If that's not a beauty, yeah, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Oil-free hydrating with hyaluronic acid, vegan squalene. Provides buildable to sheer medium coverage, semi-matte finish for all skin types. Perfects with a silky, smooth, non-greasy application. Again, I am not a fan of matte, but we'll see. So I have my little palette here from AOA in the event that I need to add some which kind of sucks because it will change the formula of it, but what are you going to do? I'm just going to put, a, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's really peachy. That, that's actually kind of orange. Why do they do that? I don't understand why brands do this. So here's what it looks like. I mean, that's, let me see if I can show you another one. Okay, so when you compare this to this, you can see how drastic that change is. No, you can't really, but it is, trust me. So I'm probably gonna have to add some blue and I have a feeling I'm gonna have to add a little bit of white to this. Yeah, I'm just gonna apply it at first just to see what happens. And of course you guys know that I like Fingers or Beauty Blender because brushes don't really work, especially with tinted moisturizers. And I don't like this streaky mess that it makes. For me, it's usually a win when it can work with this area because that area for me is a pain in the ass. Okay, so I added some with my sponge and then I added some with my fingers and I don't know if you can see my melasma halo right here, but it's not even covering that. So this is more than sheer. I mean, it's, it's seriously sheer. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more on my fingers. It's very, um, very soft. It doesn't really feel like you have anything on your skin. But it doesn't cover yeah I'm not really I mean uh, the tiniest little bit it does but even my NARS does more than this this right here actually gives better coverage which is um, kind of crazy Let me go wash my hands and I'm gonna look and see what's going on. Okay, so seeing that it claims to matte down, I added some to my eyes as concealer just to see if it creases. It is a little drying on the eyes, which I'm not really digging. Um, I'm sure that would probably change throughout the day. As for here, it doesn't look horrid. You can see dry patches, um, not really obvious or anything like that but they are there it's strangely creasing in places I don't usually crease maybe that'll stop it 
Now, it does feel like there's nothing on my skin, which I like. Right now, it's a little tacky. I'm not sure if it's going to dry down because I just applied more. But let me give it a rest and see, and I'll come right back on. It is gathering here, or creasing, I should say. So I'm not sure if it's going to work in that sense, but we'll see. So let me be take a break, or pause right here and come right back. So I completely forgot to come back here. <laughs> and it's been four hours. And it's actually not looking bad, but, um, oh, and this is what I did with my eyes. It's not looking bad, but it's not anything that, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, okay. I mean, I have others that I kind of like a little bit more, but it's not a bad um, tinted moisturizer. It, it's actually nice. Again, it doesn't really feel like there's anything on. It's not really tacky. I have some that are tackier. Um, so you can hear it. It's just like a little, just a tiny bit, but it doesn't feel like you have anything on your face, which I like. Um, very sheer in my opinion. It does even out skin tone. It doesn't really hide any blemishes, but, um, not bad. It was doing something like funny, like looking pretty makeupy here. It does collect a lot here. Um, and there is some separation like right in this area, but nothing crazy. So what I ended up doing on my, for my makeup, <laughs> I took the uh, Celestial Thunder palette and I took uh, Lucid Dream in the inner and outer and then I took a little bit of this one right here um, just around the eyes. I intensified that with the Maybelline Tattoo um, in carbon or charcoal. I, for blush, I have the Ciate London Marble Light and Halo. I have the Becca um, Set Set and Refresh, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh for setting, prim or setting powder. What else did I do? I didn't actually do any of the... My mind is going completely blank. Concealer. I just ended up using... Oh, actually, no, I did like the tiniest, I mean, like most invisible, just for the really far inner corner of my eyes because it was still looking a little blue. And then I took these two. This is protector. And I basically just sheared out protector on my lips, which is still a little too warm, I think. I want it a little more cool tone. And I took this to uh, blend that out. On my eyes, I have Laura Mercier... Caviar Volume for mascara. And I didn't actually put anything on my eyebrows because I'm not going anywhere. So I just kind of sat around the house like this. <laughs> but it's not a bad tinted moisturizer. Oh, if you want to see what this looks like, by the way. I'm sure you guys know what this one is. I ended up getting this in my um, BoxyCharm, which there was a big, huge thing about it being fake and all this fun stuff. Um... <laughs> What was I going to say? So, yeah, I don't think it's bad. I think it's um, just an affordable tinted moisturizer. Is it something that I would order again? Probably not. Because, again, there's others that I like a little bit more and that I'm willing to pay more for. Um, but it's not bad. I mean, it's as you can see, it's not mattifying, which I liked. I actually had to put setting powder on in some areas to calm down like the shine like right up in here. And uh, at least today, it's not looking dry in this area. I mean, you really have to look close to see if it's really, really dry. You know what I mean? Whereas yesterday, or well, the other one that I did was just, oh my God. <laughs> that was that was like really, really, really bad. But um, yeah, I don't mind it. I'm not sure how long it would last. It would depend on how your skin is, whether or not you, you know, how you prep. And all that fun stuff because I'm learning that that really is individual it does I could sit there and say that something lasted me eight hours and it depends on the day how I set it how my face is doing it depends on a lot there's a lot of factors in that so and the reason why I know that is because I've had people I've been watching people that say oh you know it lasts this long and it lasts that long and then I go to try it and I'm like no or 
you know, oh, it only lasts this long and then for me to last longer. So <coughs> I don't necessarily care to do wear tests because everybody's different. The way that everybody preps their face, the, you know, everything's different. So I'm not going to go that route. I'm going to let you know if it lasts four to six hours, if that's how long I have it on. And, but, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I could come back, but maybe I'll come back. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But this is not bad. Um, again, for a little under one fluid ounce, you're paying, depending on where you go, um, under six wherever you go between I'm gonna say five and six dollars I would say at this point you're better off getting it somewhere else other than Amazon because Amazon right now still has this for $5.99 whereas <clears throat> Walmart and Target have it for $4.98 $4.99 so why not pay that I would and yeah you know what it's funny because I'm sitting there thinking about this and I'm like god you know if it just had a little more something it would be pretty freaking amazing because again it doesn't feel like you have anything on your skin you could tell just the tiniest bit that it was a little peachy from my face to my neck but it wasn't so bad I'm sure that if it was a little bit more coverage you would notice I just think that if it had a little more something and what that something is I'm not quite sure yet but it would be pretty fucking amazing. But because it doesn't, it's just kind of like, okay, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. You know? Anyhow, that's my uh, two cents. Take it or leave it. And yeah, I think I am going to sign off. I mean, there's nothing more to say about it. <laughs> so yeah, that's my review. Uh, I will go ahead and I will play with it a couple more days and see if anything changes. And I, you know, I find a way to, I mean, could, I think that this one you could mix. Would it be incredibly fabulous to mix? I don't know. I'm going to find out. I'm going to mix it maybe with my Misha and see what happens. Maybe it'll make it a little less dry because Misha does get a little dry, especially here. I find that it gets pretty dry, but the, the color is really nice. And then, oh, it's just, it's beautiful too. So maybe it'll work, maybe. Anyhow, if you like this video and what I had to say, or this review and what I had to say, um, hit like, hit subscribe, comment below, and give it a share. Let somebody else know about it. But yes, I will see you guys. I love you.